Crooked splices are easily identified, especially at the tail pulley, as they jump back and forth. And that's because when you're using those cut edge belts, typically the edges of the belts aren't perfectly straight. Belting manufacturers typically don't make the width of belt that you might need. They're typically manufacturing big rolls of belt and cutting down the width depending on the need, whether it's a 30, a 36, a 54, depending on what you're operating, you're probably not getting a belt manufactured to that width. As they cut that belt off that bigger roll, sometimes that can leave a little bit of a wave. It's so small, you won't see it with your eye, but as you square off that imperfected edge, it can cause a crooked splice. So what we're gonna recommend, NIBA, if you've ever heard of NIBA before, NIBA is the National Industrial Belting Association. NIBA recommends uh, what's called using the average center line. And what the average center line is, is just basically measuring from each side of the belt, establishing as close to you can as an average center line, and then squaring off of that average line to get a cut edge rather than squaring off the outside edge of the belt.